Barely 24 hours after resumption of office, Imo State Governor Emeka Ehedioha has commenced the demolition of monuments built by the immediate past Governor Rocha Zakoraja as his first action as governor. The Akachi Toro, one of the main tur tourist attractions built by the governor, a former governor, is being demolished. It was built on a reclaimed dump site that was abandoned by previous administrations. The demolition exercise was supervised by soldiers who barred journalists from covering the exercise. The Akachi Monument was one of the structures commissioned by the Vice President, Yemiya Simbajo, barely one week ago. And joining us in the studio, we have uh, Shegun Shopita. He's of the ACT Network and is also a political analyst. Thank you for joining us, Shegun. Uh, looking at the situation in Imo State, of course, uh, <laughs> for some people, that's a really heartbreaking um, picture uh, for... I mean, it had gotten to a state where it was now a tourist attraction and it was being brought down. What could have informed that move by Governor Ihedioha? Um Political vendetta. I can't think of any other reason. Um, uh, it's not news that um, um, Governor Hedio High is of a different party from the outgoing governor, and um, their relationship before uh, and during the elections was anything but friendly, was very frosty. Mm -hmm. um, so the only reason, I, I can't adduce anything logical, nothing logical to this. Um, so taxpayers' monies have been spent to build this, and it's a monument, uh, from what I gather, that has potential for earning the state tourism revenues. So the question is, why would you demolish that? Because you don't like the face of your pre 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 predecessor. So um, it's, 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 it's very, very sad. It's a sad day um, for Nigeria. And I hope that this will be a watershed of some sort for um, this type of practice where um, new governments deliberately tear down uh, policies, programs, and now, in this case, projects of their predecessors. Uh, it's got to stop. Um, I think, I, I'm hoping, if this was within our jurisdiction, we would have taken this up legally. Because mm -hmm. this, this is, 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 is a violation of his oath of office. He's supposed to be there to protect the citizens and the taxpayer, um, mm -hmm. not go on some private, uh, you know, uh, war. Vendetta. Vendetta with, with, with his pre I'm predecessor. I'm just wondering, do you see the Imo State people um, revolting against this? Do you see them reacting um, negatively towards this um, act by the Governor Higeriha? You know, you know, the thing is, um, Governor Okorocha was a controversial figure. Um, and so it's not every Imolite that necessarily um, uh, celebrated him or was excited about his leadership. I mean, in many regards, he made Imo State a laughing stock during his four years. He did all sorts of very unorthodox and sometimes completely inexplicable things. You know, so for that reason, it will be difficult for um, emo people to galvanize, unite, and say no to this. Um, because it will be seen as you're supporting one party or you're supporting the other party. But I would hope so. I would encourage Imo citizens to not take up arms or revolt or anything, but to use all legal means possible to say no to this type of action. And perhaps even beyond emo people, all Nigerians need to say no to this because if it's happened there, it could happen here. I'm just going to verify quickly before I let you go. Um, in Abuja, the FCT, just before the elections, a big broom Absolutely. was erected. Is that, does that fall in the category of things that should be torn down? <laughs> because it's taxpayers' money is used wrongly, although the presidency had said that, you know, it yeah. wasn't them, it was mm -hmm. somebody private, mm -hmm. but that can be torn down, can it? Yeah, I mean, that perhaps was slightly different for two reasons. One, it wasn't taxpayers' money, and two, I think it was... Um, um, in the category of campaign project. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like you put up a billboard. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the way I would have seen it. So yeah, so once the elections were over, you can't have a broom monument in front of, the broom is a symbol of a political party. It's not a symbol of the state. So you couldn't possibly have had that standing in perpetuity at such a prime location in Abuja. So of course that had to go. Um, do, you, do you think he, he have, will regret this in a couple of days when he begins to see the backlash? Absolutely, and I think we should make him regret it. Um, 
at least one thing I know Nigerians are legendary for is the use of social media. So let's hound him and let him know this makes absolutely no sense. Thank you very much, Shegun. Shepitan, for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you.